Hello everyone, before you subscribe, like you hit the bell for notifications on the video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get XP for every um every type of level on islands on the new update. So as you can see here, we have skill levels. I've been working at my levels a lot. We got farming, woodcutting, mining, economy, animal husbandry. Forging, fishing, cooking, combat, light melee, heavy melee, archery, and magic. Okay. So first, we got farming right here. So for this one, it's good to have auto farms. Because with the auto farms, you, it, it'll just do it automatically, basically. If you want to do it by hand, you still get a lot like this. And you can also get more XP from daily bonuses, which you can get a certain amount every day. You see it just racking up for that. So you just keep grinding and grinding. And like for this level, you've got base stats, so third level is watering can, fifth level is tomato and tomato seeds, ninth level is potato seeds and potatoes, level 14 is composter and basic fertilizer, 16, wheat totem, 18, carrot seeds and carrots, 22, spinach seeds and spinach, which spinach is a new crop, <laughs> 24 is tomato totem, 28 is potato totem, 31 onion seeds and onions, 33 carrot totem, 35 trellis rape seeds, 38 <laughs> cactus seeds and cactus, 40 onion totem, 52 star fruit totem. Next one, wood cutting. So what you gotta do for wood cutting is you basically just cut trees. So if I cut any tree, like this tree, <laughs> let me use my, an axe are better using on trees. There you go, 248 XP. It's a lot, but when you have your daily bonuses, you get way more. And for wood cutting, your base stats, whenever you level up, you get go higher. Level 3 stone axe, level 5 pine tree sapling and iron axe, level 10 birch sapling, level 12 avocado tree sapling and avocado, level 14 maple sapling, level 20 you can is guild steel axe. And level 24 is Hickory Sapling. <laughs> so for the... You would usually need levels for the Gilded Steel Pickaxe and Gilded Steel Axe. But they changed it to where you don't anymore. <laughs> and then the next, which is Mining. <laughs> so for mining, you basically have to mine rocks. <laughs> like... Rocks, uh, for stone, coal, iron, gold, and redstone. Redstone will give you the most. It'll give you even more with your daily bonuses. So, yeah. And for mining, we have base stats. Stone pickaxe level 3. Level 7 is Iron Pickaxe, level 12 is Stone Totem, level 18 Coal Totem, level 34 Iron Totem, and level 65 is the Gilded Steel Pickaxe. But you don't need that level. <laughs> the next thing is Economy. <laughs> so for Economy, you really do like need a lot of... You, you really do need your daily bonus for this one. <laughs> so what you gotta do is go to 
with NPCs in the village and sell stuff to them. <laughs> and this one's harder. It's gonna be like the hardest out of all of them. <laughs> really. So if we go into the hub. <laughs> Let's see if we go to the crops guy. We can sell tomato. We can sell. Uh, we can sell tomatoes. It's got 187. Oh, 561. You would get like four times that. Like wheat. <laughs> 762. So wheat is the best one to do because it grows fast. And yeah, it's just faster. So the next thing is animal husbandry. So we're going to need to go back to our island for that. Oh yeah, and for economy, what you get? Vending purchasing and... To, and level 60 crap you can craft and go and edit so yeah so now animal husbandry <clears throat> just give it a second Okay, so for this one, you need to take care of your animal. It's like, see if I pet it. XP, and I have my four times daily still. See, so when I didn't get that much normally, and I like feed them and stuff. Sharing the new sheep that came out and milking cows that will give you the most XP for the animal husband dairy. And for that, with the base stats level 2 cow 8, you can buy and you can craft animal well being kit level 3 net small display kiss. Level four, wooden trough. Level five, two for fertility potion stuff. Level six, honey press jar of honey. Level eight, cheese maker and cheese. Level ten, you can get another animal because there's a max limit. Another fertility potion stock. Eleven, hay bed. Twelve, firefly wall lamp. Level fifteen, two more of the potion and stock. Level 16, large display case. Level 20, another animal and another potion. Level 21, sheep, egg, shears, and and white wall. Level 22, firefly garden lamp, light. Level 24, cloth, loom and cloth. Use the wool to make cloth. L25, potion, L28, scratching post, L30, potion, so it's L35, potion, <laughs> now 36, you can get the industrial milker, you put buckets in there, and they milk them on their own, <laughs> they get when they get fed, if they don't get fed, they don't do it, L40, <laughs> um, another animal, and you get another potion, L45, Potion of 47, the wool vacuum. You just gotta feed them and they do it on their own. They'll, in the wool, they'll put the wool on the machine. <laughs> and then level 50 potion, level 55 potion, level 60 animal and potion, level 65 potion, level 70 po potion, level 75 potion, 80 another animal 
potent potion, 85 potion, 90 potion, and 95, of course, leaf potion. <laughs> Next one is forging. So you can get that by making, like, stone bricks, iron, and stuff like that. And copper. Basically. Yeah, so that's what it basically does. And for that, level 3, small furnace, level 8, industrial smelter. And... Conveyor. And... Industrial chest. Level 12, right conveyor belt, and left conveyor belt. Level 15, industrial sawmill, level 17, industrial oven. Level 18, drill. Level 22, industrial stone cutter. Level 25, food processing. Level 27, industrial wash station. Level 30, copper press. Level 32, steel press. And gearbox. <laughs> level 50, sen conveyor sensor. And level 62, input output chest. <laughs> so that's it for foraging. <laughs> if you haven't done any of that, there's base stats. Level 15, bait. Level 20, eel. And level 25, swordfish. And cooking, if you've been uh, auto cooking, that'll be good. <laughs> you know, just get XP and when you make craft stuff for cooking or put, cook stuff in the oven, you get XP for that. <laughs> level 2 berry dough, level 3 tomato sauce and pizza, level 7 carrot cake powder, level 11 baked potato, level 13 potato salad, level 18 honey toast, level 22 uncooked apple pie, level 25 orange cake batter. Level 28, Roasted Honey Carrot. Level 30, Lemon Bread Dough. And level 33, Avocado Toast. Level 36, Tomato Soup. Level 40, Brewing Stand and Regen Potion. Level 45, Grape Jam. Level 52, Uncooked Star Fruit Cake. Level 55, Jam Steam Lights. Level 58, Resistance Potion. Level 60, Candy Apple. Level 62, Lemon Puff. And level 65, Orange Honeycomb. So that's that for that. <laughs> then we got combat. So we got combat, light melee, heavy melee, archery, and magic. <laughs> so magic is a spell book. Archery is arch with your bow. <laughs> heavy melee, I think that's the ham. I you're hit with the strong sword, I think. <laughs> Light melee and combat. <laughs> so you mostly get combat and light melee. If you use magic and archery, you get that too. <laughs> then heavy melee, I don't really know actually. <laughs> like so for combat, base stats, low sixteen buffalo buffalo uh, buffalo cork, island, axis, star fruit. And then level 25, Wizard Island Access, Empty Potion Bottle. And level 41, Desert Island Access, Iron Scorp Scale, Gold Scorp Scale, and Ruby Scorp Scale you can sell. So, and then, the next is Light Melee. Base stats in Iron War Axe on level 12. And Heavy Melee, base stats in level 32. For gilded steel, uh, gilded steel hammer, <laughs> archery, base stats, artifact bow, and vamp bow. And artifact bow is a level six, and vamp bow is a level twenty-two. <laughs> and then last thing, magic are just the base stats. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell for notification, and I'll see you later. Bye.